All right, you guys, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad. Uh, this hour we are going to be talking about water privatization, okay, and a, uh, a situation that happened in, uh, in Bolivia um, and what happened when uh, their government decided to privatize uh, water through, I believe it was the uh, UN, and, um, and uh, kind of a, a, the disaster that, uh, that happened there. Um, I want to talk about kind of the water situation in, uh, in your countries um, and whether or not it would, it would help or maybe whether or not it would help to try something uh, different uh, because I've lived in a, a lot of different countries and really the only country where I've been able to actually drink the water uh, coming to the house is here in Costa Rica. Um, I couldn't drink the water from the tap in Honduras, Guatemala, or El Salvador. Um, I was told not to do so in Argentina, uh, but I did anyway. I never got sick. Um, um, and But here in, in Costa Rica, they said, yes, drink the water. It's clean. And so I'm, I'm wondering, well, maybe the way that, uh, that Bolivia went about it was incorrect, uh, but do they need to do something so that uh, more people have uh, clean water instead of having to buy the water, uh, um, having to pay for the water coming to the house and then buy drinking water? So I kind of wanted to uh, discuss that a little bit as well. Okay, uh, very good. So the, uh, the link to the class is, um, let me get that to you right now. Link to the class is in the chat boxes. So go ahead and open that up, please. Okay. And let's see who we have in class so far. Hi, Paolo. Welcome back. How you doing? I'm fine. Thank you. Awesome, man. Good to see you again. Um, let's see. Dimitri. How you doing, Dimitri? Hi, Joel. I'm fine. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Um, Amparo, welcome back. Thank you. And we have Action. How you doing, Action? I'm doing well, Chad. Thanks. What about you? I'm doing great. Very cool. Good to have you here. Thanks. thanks. Uh, awesome. All right. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get started, you guys. Okay. The link is in the chat box. Um, we're going to uh, scroll down. Okay. Scroll down to uh, page number two. And we're going to take a look at uh, vocabulary words first, uh, then uh, then come up and take a look at a uh, um, a medium-sized article here that we'll read through, and then we'll answer some questions. Okay, so uh, we're on page two number, or, sorry, page two first. Okay, so our vocabulary review, and let's start off with uh, number one here. Uh, let's see, I had some others come in. Hi, do I have uh, Roman or Ann? Hi, Chad, it's Sam. Hi, Anne. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing well, thank you. Awesome. And how about Imad? How you doing, Imad? Yeah, fine. Thank you, Chad. Thank you very much. Excellent. Good to have you here. Okay. Can you so, hear me? Uh, yep, I can hear you just fine. All righty. So let's uh, let's start off with uh, with action here. In action, please read number one and uh, tell me what you believe the uh, the definition would be. Okay. Uh, take over. Okay. And what uh, what do you uh, think take over would mean? I think it's take control. Yeah. Yeah. So a very a very similar meaning. Uh, over in this uh, in this sense would mean to uh, control. Okay. Um, a lot of times, you guys, uh, the word takeover is used when you're talking about corporations. Okay, so you'll have um, you'll have another corporation or maybe the government, okay, take over, okay, or take control of a uh, a uh, another business, okay. Here in the United States, um, the the government or not here, I'm not in the United States, uh, or but in the United States, the government is trying to take over the uh, the healthcare, okay. Some people think that it's a good idea, other people don't think it's a good idea. Okay, um, so it just depends. All right, so that's how we use takeover. Okay, um, next word here, Amparo, number two, please. 
Municipal. 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 Um, uh, F relating to a city or town. Okay, yes. Okay. Uh, all right. So the way that you will more than likely hear this word used is municipality. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. That's mm -hmm. the that's the way that it's usually said. A municipality. Okay, meaning city or town. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, and that's just a, a, for, a, a formal word for saying for saying that in legal documents. Uh, you probably won't see the word city or town. It'll in uh, uh, it'll probably be s stated as municipality. Okay. Um, all right. Number three. This is for Anne. Yeah, uh, debt load. Um, I think it is the amount of money owing. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you can call this the the debt load. Uh, you can call it uh, the uh, debt. Okay. Um, in in any way, whenever you're talking about debt, it's always you're always referring to money owed or a favor being owed. Okay. But in this sense, with the debt load, okay, uh, you're talking about how much uh, how much money, and they'll probably uh, be referring to a uh, city or state or country um, when they're talking about the debt load in this in this conversation. Okay. Um, number four. Uh, number four is for Dimitri. Uh, yes, uh, contract is a legal uh, legal agreement. All right, very good. So, a contract is a legal agreement. Okay. Um, uh, it's uh, a uh, it, it, in some cases it's stated as an agreement. Okay, so if, uh, two parties. Okay, when we say parties, that means one person or group uh, has a contract with uh, another person or group. A party can be an individual or it can be uh, more than one person. Okay, in legalese, or if we're talking in the legal language, okay, a part, and that's what party means. It does not mean a, 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 a fun time, right? It means a person or group, okay? Uh, but yes, they uh, would... Uh, would create a contract between them, all right, and it's a legally binding, okay, agreement, okay. Very good. Let's go to number five, and number five is for Emad. Yeah, residents, um, people living in a particular place. Okay. J. Very good. Yes. So uh, J, people living in a particular place. Okay, um, residents can be a part of a, a municipality. They can be part of a county. All right. So in uh, in the United States, uh, the way that it works from smallest to uh, to biggest. Okay, you start at municipalities, which are cities and towns. So a municipality. Then you go to a county. Okay, a county has many municipalities, and then a state has many counties and then you go to the country that has many states okay so municipality county state um, and country okay and uh, uh, residents how can we, uh huh yeah so how how to spell the word county uh, county is like the word count with a y at the end like this okay I write down yeah yep county Okay, but it's tricky. And how about district? Yeah. Uh, district. Yeah. District yeah. is like that. Is it small? Uh, is, yeah. Is it the word district? Is it like? Is it refer to a small uh, city or is it like uh, like uh, uh, defined as like a large area, small area? How? Uh, a, a district is going to be a, a large, not an extremely large area. Okay, but it is a large area, and uh, with yeah. that, we don't use the word district when we're talking about um, a, a, the place where people live. Usually, a district has to do with um, a legal territory, okay, or a uh, a policing yeah. territory. So, for example, um, defined a, by the government. Yeah, it's for the, it's more for more for the government, but not for the citizens. The citizens we follow municipalities, counties, states, 
Okay, those type of things. That's legal as as well, but it's it's mainly for uh, to to uh, tell us where we live. With districts, okay, districts have to do with uh, governance. So you may have a court or a, a courthouse that belongs to the ninth district of the United States, and that may cover uh, two states. It may cover half of the state. Wow. Okay. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't yes. follow exactly with the municipalities or the counties. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, and let's see. So residents. Residents uh, can be uh, residents of the country. Residents of, or, or you can actually it's citizens of the country, but residents of a state, residents of a county, and residents of a municipality. Okay. All right. Let's go to number six. This is for um, Paulo. Uh, a strike, letter I, stopping work as, as a means of protest. Okay, yes. Um, usually, you guys, we say go on strike. Okay, so we use the verb to go, and then uh, the preposition on, okay, then the word strike. To go on strike. Okay, uh, if it's in the past, went on strike. Okay. If we're talking about the future, we're going to go on strike. Okay. Uh, we wouldn't say I struck last week. Okay. Or I strike tomorrow. Okay. Or I strike today. It is I'm on. I am on strike. We would use the verb to be in that sense. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you're talking about present tense. Okay. Uh, I'm. Uh, I went on strike last week. I'm. I am not on strike now. Okay. So in present tense, we would use the verb to be. Okay. On strike. Uh, for let's see. For present tense. Okay. So past tense is to go. Past and future is we use to go. Present tense is to be. Okay. Um, all right, let's go to number seven. Uh, number seven is for action. Protest. Protest. Okay, protest. Pro, protest. Protest. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so, uh, Demonstrate to show disagreement. Uh, yes. L. Okay, so L down here below. Okay, uh, so uh, uh, to protest, to demonstrate, to show disagreement. Okay, if you're protesting, okay, uh, you're you are disagreeing with uh, whatever the philosophy or belief is, um, or the actions of a particular company or group. Okay, so uh, demonstrate to show disagreement. Okay. Uh, let's go to number eight. Number eight is for Amparo. Riot, letter K, mm -hmm. noisy, uncontrolled behavior of a group. Yeah, so uh, riots. Sometimes, not every time, but sometimes a protest can turn into a riot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we see that in, in Egypt. Okay, and uh, that riot is now kind of almost turning into a war. Okay, uh, I'm sure Dimitri, you saw uh, riots in Greece. Yes, in Greece. yes, not okay. many. Okay. Yep, yeah. in Greece, we saw them in uh, uh, Brazil. Um, we saw them in the United States. Okay, uh, where people were were um, getting getting crazy. The groups were mm -hmm. uncontrolled. Okay, we've seen them in, I believe, uh, Spain. Was it Spain or was it France? I can't remember. Uh, if, I think it was Spain. Spain had, uh, yeah, Spain had some troubles a, a couple years ago or so, something like that, right? Um, so yeah, it's when. Uh, one question. Yes. When in in the football stadium, the people uh, is the same. It's a riot when the people go crazy and protest and. 
when you know with the referee or something at the end of the match. Yes, this when could be a, a riot or or is, or is not. Yeah, if they become violent. Violent. Okay. okay, if there's violence there, if people are getting hurt, okay, uh, things like that, that would be a riot. Okay, if if they're just you know shouting no 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 or whatever or uh, being very loud, okay, um, that isn't necessarily a riot. A, a riot is uh, is usually constituted by violence. Yes, when they destroy the the chairs or something. Yes, when there's when there is um, destruction to uh, to property and uh, and other forms okay. of, of violent acts. Okay. Okay, uh, very good question. Very good question. Okay, let's go to number nine, and this is for Anne. Yeah, uh, arrest. Uh, take by the police and charge with the crime. So, C. All right, very good. Yes, to be arrested is to be taken by the police and charged with a crime. Okay, usually handcuffed and placed in their, in their vehicle. All right? Okay, mm -hmm. uh, let's go to number... 10. Number 10 is for Dimitri. Yes, media is uh, met methods of uh, communication, TV, radio, press. Yeah, uh, usually we ref referred to as the media. Okay, uh, if you hear on radio or uh, if you see in, you know, someone talking about it and they say the media, okay, the media, they're referring to all forms of 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 news, whether it be on TV, radio, or the print. Okay, the media refers to all of them. Okay, um, very good. Let's go to number eleven. Uh, this is Imad. Yeah, mm, to live up with. Uh, no, uh, to live up, uh, live up to. Mm, okay. Live up to. Is it do what it is expected or kind of that? Yes. B? Okay, so uh, to live up to is to do uh, what is expected. All right. Uh, a lot of times um, uh, people need to live up to, or children um, um, are expected to live up to their parents' expectations. Okay? Uh, if your parents uh, um, expect you to uh, uh, live a certain way or something like that, Okay, they expect you to live up to that. So, uh, uh, for example, in my family, okay, my family had certain expectations or certain rules that my parents expected us to live up to, okay, or to to follow, right? Uh, one of them was I couldn't date until I was 16. Okay, I couldn't uh, I couldn't go out on dates, and that's okay, right? Um, my and also in my in my family. Okay, we were we were taught, okay, that uh, that it wasn't okay to go sleep around, okay, that we we uh, were that we should wait until we get married, all right, to uh, uh, to have sex, okay. That was something in my family that my parents, okay, wanted us to live up to. They had certain standards or things like that that they wanted us to do, all right. That and that was that was my family. So. Um, uh, when you when you use this phrase, that's how we use that. Okay, so it's certain rules or certain uh, certain moral code that uh, that uh, you you expect of yourself, uh, you expect of someone else, someone expects of you. Maybe at uh, at your at work. Okay, your boss expects you to live up to the company standards of being honest. Okay, not stealing. Okay, things like that. So that's how that phrase is used. Okay. Uh, let's go to number 12. Uh, number 12 is for... Uh-oh. Who's my, who was my last person? Was that... Um, okay, Ahmad, Ahmad was my last person, right? So, Paolo, Paolo, number 12, please. Back down. Letter G. Give up. Uh, yes. Uh, to back down is to give up. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys have, uh, if you have Netflix or something like that, and you've seen the movie Never Back Down. Mm. Okay, it's a movie about uh, uh, fighting. Okay, a movie about fighting, and the the theme is never back down, never give up. 
Okay, so we that's how we use that phrase. Okay, don't back down. Okay, keep on trying. Okay, don't back down from a problem. All right, that was one that uh, that my father always uh, always taught uh, us children to not back down from a uh, from a problem, to never give up, to keep on fighting. Okay, even if that problem or that situation knocks you down. Okay, don't back down. Get back up. Keep trying. All right. Okay, so back down. Okay. All right, you guys, any uh, any questions about our vocabulary words? Uh, uh, with back down, you use for after down? Uh, back down? Mm -hmm. uh, you what? said don't back down for a problem? Yeah, but from a problem. Don't from. back down from a problem. Okay. Okay, uh, don't back down from a problem. Don't back down... Um, from yeah, you would usually use from. Okay, yeah. afterwards. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. You. Charles, uh, can we use back down for the uh, for the cars? For for the cars. Um no, that's back up. Back up to make back up. It, it, it's uh, like yeah. So when uh, when you have a car and you are reversing the car, that is to back up. Okay. Okay, so yeah, instead of uh, back down, it is back up. Okay, uh, you also use back up or backed up. Okay, when you're talking about the pipes in in your house. Okay, if uh, like uh, if the toilet overflows or the sink overflows, the the water won't go down. That's called a backed up pipe. Okay, backed up pipe. Yeah, also, we use backup for uh, for 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 making a reserve. Yeah. Uh huh. Backup can backup in a computer or like. This. Yeah, yeah, to back up your computer. Uh huh. Uh, but yeah, back down is uh, is to give up. Okay, like I've I've never backed down, backed down from a fight. Okay, so if someone is 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 trying to do something, uh, trying to push me around, I've never backed down. Okay, I've always defended myself. Okay, uh, so that's that's how we would use that. Okay, does that make sense? Yep. Any other questions, you guys? Okay, uh, good. Let's uh, let's scroll up here. Okay, to, to the top of page one, and we're going to uh, read through uh, what happened. Okay, and we're, we'll talk about uh, water privatization. Okay, um, and let's start off with action, I believe. Yep, so action, go ahead and read that, uh, that first paragraph. Okay, in recent years, private companies have taken over, taken over municipal water supplies in a number of poor countries. The World Bank and International Monetary Fund are accused of forcing countries with large debt debt loads to allow this in exchange for loans. Okay, Amparo, next next paragraph. In May 1999, a company called Aquas de Tunaria, owned by Bechel, an American multinational com corporation, was given a 40-year contract to increase the water supplies and services of Cochabamba, Bolivia, a city of 600,000. Six. 600,000. There you go. Good. Okay. And next paragraph. Okay. Uh, shortly after taking over in January 2000, uh, the company raised uh, water rates substantially. Many people had to choose between feeding their family and paying their water bill. To protest uh, uh, the increase, residents took part in a four-day general strike, which shut down the city. La, Coordina La Coordinator, an organization of community activists and labor leaders, led the protest. The strike ended uh, when the government agreed uh, to cancel the rate increases. Okay, thank you. Um, Dimitri, please read the next paragraph. By mid February, the government had not uh, lived up to the agreement. A peaceful protest march, march was organized by Badriot police, used tear gas to stop the marchers, many of whom were injured. Uh, the people did not give up, uh, though. 
In March, March activists demanded that the government cancel the pri uh, privatization contract and return the water system to public ownership. They also released the Cochabamba Declaration, which called uh, for the protection of the water rights of people around the world. Okay, very good. And let's see here. Um, Imad, let me have you read this next paragraph, please. Uh, yeah. With the government once again uh, refused uh, their, uh, sorry, when the government once again refused their demands, residents shut down the city on April 4. Other uh, Boliv uh, Boliv Bolivians come to support them. The government arrested the, uh, the leader of the protests and stopped the media from reporting on it. Uh, police Police attacked and injured many protesters, and on April 8, uh, killed a young protester. On April 10, however, the government backed down and agreed to all the, uh, the protesters' demands. Okay, very good. Uh, Paolo, please read the last uh, last little bit here. Okay, the people of Cochabamba had won. They said not to the economics of globalization and gave hope to many others around the world. Okay, awesome. All right, thank you, you guys. All right, let's let's uh, let's scroll down here. Okay, uh, to uh, this side where it says discuss it. I'm on page two. All right, and uh, we'll take a look here at uh, number one first, okay? Uh, so let's go to action. Uh, this question is, uh, what do you think of the world's World Bank's decision to force poor countries to privatize their water supplies in exchange for loans? Uh, I, I, I think it's, it's not it's not the right thing to do for the World Bank. Uh, okay. Because because you exploit the the country per countries, uh, maybe there is there is there should be another thing to privatize. But to privatize the water supply uh, is really bad for the country, and and uh, eventually I think that it will it will treat like this protest in that countries. Maybe you can uh, privatize the teleco. Telecom company, uh, telecom uh, service in the country, but to privatize the water supplies or maybe energy supplies uh, is not the right, the right thing to do. I think. Okay, all right, um, and it, I guess we'll, we'll talk about this uh, uh, afterwards. But yeah, I have I've. Uh, I've got this just this uh, just major issue with water in in most of these countries, and I imagine I've never been to Bolivia, but I imagine um, they can't drink the water there either. Or if they if the people are drinking the water, they have uh, uh, many parasites and they're uh, constantly uh, sick. Um, but uh, that's that's my main issue. Um, I don't know if uh, if they were just overcharging because it was actually going to cost that much. To do it, but yeah, I agree with you as well. Uh, you can't force someone to to uh, have someone someone another company take over uh, the water supply uh, because you have more power. I I think that that type of thing um, should be uh, voted on by the public, and clearly the public probably wouldn't uh, the public wouldn't have voted for it if uh, uh, if they knew who the company was and that they were going to be taking over. So, okay, uh, very good. Let's go it to. It sounds like a blackmail. Uh, yeah, that's more, more, more or less what it sounds like. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Amparo, n number two here. Um, why do you think the residents of Cochabamba were able to make the government back down? Well, here uh, our law is supposed to. The Constitution said that one of our right is to have the, the, the water for free um, uh, without uh, any any company just for the government or the municipality mm -hmm. 
So th I think they are just claiming for their rights. Uh, maybe the increase in the in the in the fee it, it was too exaggerate because it was a private uh, private uh, company. Mm -hmm. That's why they 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 were claiming for their rights. But for example, here we have in our municipality, it's uh, uh, behind the uh, uh, private company that uh, now uh, ninety percent of the the city have uh, have uh, potab potab potable yeah potable uh, uh, water. Mm -hmm. Even in in some marginal sectors, that they okay. they, they 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 appear just uh, without any technical or just uh, with the basic service at at, at first, but it, it, it is working. Uh, and even when uh, sometimes they have been conflict between the, the the municipality and the private uh, company. Uh, they uh, have uh, been punished with some fines when they don't don't have uh, uh, doing the work in the in the way that they're supposed to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to uh, Anne. Mm -hmm. And Anne. Um, do you think that general strikes are effective ways to get governments to respond to citizens' complaints? Mm, yeah, I think that in most uh, cases uh, uh, the general strikes are the only way to get success in some uh, commu commun communities' problems, uh, mm -hmm. some public problems. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, uh, sometimes government answer uh, to the strikes, uh, allowing the police uh, to use uh, force against uh, the citizens, but uh, uh, to solve uh, public problems, it's one of the main duty of government. And uh, uh, the strike is only way to show the government uh, uh, that uh, they uh, doesn't uh, do their work. Okay, that they are, that they uh, uh, weren't doing their their work. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, if there was a strike, I can honestly tell you, if there was a strike, I would be terrified to lose my job. I'd be more terrified to lose my job and my way of income than than trying to make than trying to force that. How how do you feel about that? Would um, are 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 you more courageous that way and thinking, hey, you know what? I, I need to make we need to I need to band together with the other citizens to make a change. Okay, whether or not I have a job after this or not, or would you be terrified to lose your job? How, how would you feel? Yeah, it's a strike. It's some kind of risk, um, but unfortunately, Ukrainians uh, do not like uh, strikes at all. Uh, they usually um, are afraid about the jobs, and mm -hmm. uh, so in Ukraine, they even uh, have no chance uh, to take part in some strikes. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe if I live in another country, I uh, will do. I would do it. But in Ukraine, they do not have a lot of uh, strikes. Only mm -hmm. s small and uh, regional strikes. And uh, uh, I think uh, if the problem will be really great, I will or uh, I would uh, take part in it, uh, in spite of the risk uh, to lose my job. Okay. How about uh, uh, others? Uh, others here in class, um, um, do uh, do a lot of you feel the same way that I do? Okay, where you'd be terrified to lose your job, or okay, would you would you rather band together? How how do you guys uh, how do you guys feel about it, uh, Dimitri? How do you feel about that? Well, I think it it is a big risk to lose your job, but. Uh, I think if if a strike it's uh, from all the people and uh, there's no exceptions and uh, people that break uh, the strike, mm -hmm. and it's uh, I think there's not a problem then because uh, uh, the employer will not uh, fire everyone. I don't think he is going to fire fire everyone. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. How about uh, Imad? How do you feel about that? I uh, just think of it as something that uh, like the very big issue, a very big problem, or kind of only problem that we have to solve, and then we can risk by making this uh, strikes. Otherwise, if I have many problems, like and like minor issue that they are start making strike for, or some that look like that very important issue in our life, then I don't care about it. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, uh, let's see, Paolo. How do you feel about that? Uh, I think that um, these days it's better to protest only and not to to go to a strike because I think it's the same result to, for example, in a, uh, in Saturday to to make a protest in front of the government or the mall or something. It's the same that. Uh, one day strike because you don't go to work. You know, for example, in Spain it's legal to 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 be in a, stri in a strike because you have this for law to to protest uh, doing the strike. But I think that these days it's, mm, I think it's not good to to go in a strike. It's better to protest and because more people can go with you and protest and don't. Are terrified or don't worry about uh, those your they, their joke. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, action. How about you? Uh, so uh, I, I, I would I would rather uh, choose uh, to participate in the protest because nowadays I'm young. I I don't have any children, so nowadays mm -hmm. I, I I'm not afraid of anything. But I don't know if if I if my age is. 35, 38, or 40, and I have children. Uh, would, mm -hmm. would I choose to participate, or would, would I be terrified to be participated in the protest? But but now I am a young, so I, I think uh, I, uh, I, 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 of course, I would choose to participate in the protest against the government, okay. or, or I don't know, against the company. All right, I can I can see how that 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 uh, definitely can. Uh, uh, change change one's mind about it because yeah, the the main reason is I, I, I want to make sure that my my children can still still eat, okay, and that we have a place to live. That's my that's my main concern, you know. All right, um, how about uh, how about you, Amparo? What uh, what do you feel about this? Yes, it's, it's something that you have to think twice because it, you can take risk maybe. Uh, the moment that the, when you are so angry, angry with the, the situation, may uh, push you to to think uh, in a rush. But uh, then you have, in the way that you said, you have to think about your family or the consequence of the your actions. So I don't know. Okay. How, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Very good. Thank you guys for sharing. Uh, let's go to uh, Dimitri and. Uh, Question number four here. Uh, so, Dimitri, uh, why do peaceful demonstrations often turn to rioting? What do you think? Uh, well, I think uh, that uh, the small groups, there are small groups of people that are bit, uh, bigger groups of people, and uh, peaceful demonstrations are, are turning into rioting. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, so the from the, small, uh, small groups of people that are doing this. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Thank you. Um. Uh. Let's see. Let's go to uh, Ahmad. And Ahmad. Let's see. Number five yeah. is, um, what means can police use to stop rioting without injuring demonstrators? Um, I think uh, the, mo uh, the 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 way that they can control themselves is by being patient as much as, mu as much as they can, and uh, in the word uh, demonstration uh, demonstrators, uh, you see people who are like included, like just angry of uh, or have good cause, but they are like uh, not, uh, not like uh, aggressive. And they might not cause anything uh, harmful to the police. 
that the beliefs were uh, like hot headed and do, do things that might evoke the uh, the problem and might cause uh, many people to go to uh, to, to riot. Mm -hmm. uh, like this, this story that uh, the police try to arrest some of the protesters and the protesters instead of solving the problem in the beginning. So they are not listening. And this way, they are not patient, and they, the the demonstration will immediately turn into rioting. Okay, all right. Now, I I uh, I lived in uh, in Argentina uh, in two thousand one December of two thousand one uh, when um, the economy collapsed in uh, in Argentina. Um, not only that, I was in Congreso. Which is the heart of the financial district in uh, in uh, uh, Buenos Aires, uh, about four blocks away from Plaza de Mayo, which is uh, the, where their their pink house is, or like their white house. There, and so I was kind of in the the heart of absolute craziness, and I had never seen anything like that in my whole entire life. Um, and uh, but I was but I was there, and um, I saw people that uh, like this where where uh, the groups grew very quickly and all of a sudden uh, there was rioting and they weren't they weren't fighting against the government anymore they were now they were now fighting against their own uh, not brothers and sisters but their own uh, citizens uh, in the city and in the and in the country. And I, I, I looked at that and I thought how sad that is because people that just had shops, okay, uh, their, their kioscos there, were now having to protect their livelihood because people were, were mad and they thought, well, because we're mad at the government, we're now going to just take, okay? Um, and I, I really thought that that was sad. I, I'm all for protesting, okay, um, even to the point of violence. Uh, in some in some cases, when the government just isn't listening, and they because a lot of times the government thinks they can do whatever they want, but when it turns against the 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 citizens of your of your own city, that's where I think it it gets it uh, becomes um, a, a serious problem. Then it just becomes um, uh, robbing and stealing, right? Um, Paolo, what uh, what do you think of that? Well, how how far? How far should people be be allowed to go? Okay, where where where's the line? Where's the line that exists there? I think that only should be allowed the peaceful protests because uh, when if uh, you know you're protesting for something and if you start to destroy th things and this is something different. It's only violence and. Maybe people that don't uh, agree with your idea are coming also only for the violence and the fight. Uh, I think is the problem with this kind of protest and riots. Okay. Because for okay, so. de demonstrate something to the government, you don't need to to destroy anything. You only need to to join a lot of people there and so you know. Big uh, boards with the your messages, or maybe with speakers or something. You can uh, tell something to the people and something. But because the important is maybe that the media go there and record everything, you no? Know, and mm -hmm. the people can know what is happening there. And you don't need the other side of the protest, the violence and everything, because when the violence starts, the media change the message of the of this protest. You know. Okay. Okay. They change it from the the true meaning to reporting on the violence that's happening. Only this and the message, the final message or goal of the protest is um, it's, it's they don't lost. talk about this. They they say, oh, these people are violent and not always, but uh, it's not good. The this kind of protest. Okay. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. Um, now, um, let's see. Okay. So let's uh, let's talk about these uh, these two different topics. We've got.
got about 10 minutes left, okay? Um, and let's uh, let's start off uh, with uh, with uh, action here. So action, and then I have a, a third topic as well. So we'll do uh, we'll do uh, two people per question, okay? And then my third topic. So um, action. Um, uh, are you in favor or um, are you against this idea? So water, the most important substance of life, should always remain a public utility. In other words, water rights should never be privatized. Okay, are you for or against that idea, Action? Hello, Action? He's not here. Oh, he he took off. Oh, okay. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's go to Amparo then. Mm. Yes, I agree. But um, because for him, for example, here there is some people that uh, own some kind of of uh, 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 agricultural. Yes, uh, agricultural places, um, uh, farms. Yeah, they have some farms, and they are beside the, the river. So they think that because they are near, they have the the uh, the, the all the rights uh, over those rivers. Mm -hmm. But it's 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 no fear because there is, there is some farmers that are more uh, uh, a little far from the place and they don't have the, the same access. So it's supposed to be um, uh, the government who have to to manage these these resources and um, they be uh, they all of us we have the, the right to be access to them. Okay. Okay, all right. Um, and how about uh, how about Anne? What uh, what do you think about that? Mm, I agree with uh, this statement as well. Uh, I think that uh, the most important uh, things uh, for surviving uh, should be uh, under their uh, public control. And uh, uh, for example, in my country, uh, all uh, water resources uh, uh, on the paper uh, are under public control. But uh, the fact uh, it isn't. Uh, always the truth because uh, uh, then people rent uh, some lake they can build a big fence and nobody uh, has access to this lake unfortunately it happens very often as I see in the news and I think the our uh, right uh, to the water uh, is prevented in my country mm -hmm. okay all right all right very good thank you let's go to uh, topic number two and Dimitri um, if Betchel uh, had been allowed to continue its control of the water supply uh, of Cochabamba, uh, the lives of the residents would have improved. Okay, so that's saying Betchel the, uh, let's see, um, is Betchel the uh, American subsidiary? Yeah, from the... Yeah, yeah, so, okay, so they're saying that um, the question here is, if they would have been able to continue um, working on the water, okay, and pr supplying the water, the uh, do you believe that the uh, lives of the residents would have improved or not? What do you think? Uh, better is the company that uh, controls the water. Yeah, they're the ones that took over. They're the ones that uh, they privatized uh, it to. Pri private? Uh, no, of course not. They don't uh, think so. Because, right. uh, uh, yeah, they probably sold the water in uh, high prices and uh, then the public will, will not uh, have uh, access to it. Okay. Like uh, an example, something similar is happening here with uh, electricity and uh, public sources like uh, even like water and uh, telephone. Um, and th these were, were public before, but now due to the crisis and uh, all these things that happen happens here, uh -huh. Everything is uh, going to private uh, private uh, companies, companies, and uh, things are getting all the time uh, worse, uh, more expensive. Yeah, and uh, of course it's not good for the people, for the public. 
Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. How about uh, how about Imad? Uh, Imad, do you uh, agree with this uh, this uh, statement here in topic two? Do you believe that if Betchel would have uh, continued to control the water, the lives of the people would have been better? Um, we can't. I can't judge this this statement because I don't know the like the situation. I don't. I don't know. I don't have any kind of details about the problem itself. Okay. But. Uh, uh, looking at the situation there, demonstration can, uh, turned into uh, rioting, then it's like no good. If it's con continued, then it will be have consequences and, uh, the, you know, the circumstance change by the time, but it doesn't mean that the people will agree on this, uh, uh, on this kind of continuing. continuing okay. All right. Now, my my final uh, thought or idea on there, and I want to find out what you think, Paulo, and any others, um, is about clean water. Okay. I mentioned in my monologue, kind of at the beginning of the uh, uh, the class, um, I've been to a uh, to a, not a lot, but a number of countries here in Central uh, Central America, and then also in South America, and a lot of times they say, "Don't drink the water." Don't drink it, okay? If you go there, you're going to get some, uh, you're going to get parasites, right? Um, and I was actually told not to drink the water when I was in Argentina. Um, and I did anyway, and I didn't get any parasites. Uh, but uh, um, here in Central America, uh, I never drank the water in Honduras, El Salvador, and Guatemala. Um, but when I got here to Costa Rica, I didn't either, even though people were saying, you can drink the water, it's okay. Um, I remember the day, like in the in the back of my mind, with my wife here, we were we were buying bottled water, and and I said, all right, this is killing us. The water here is ridiculously expensive. We can't keep doing this. It's like I'm gonna try and drink the water, but if I get sick, we're going. You guys keep drinking the water. I'll I'll try this tap water. If I get sick, then we'll 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 stop. Right. So I drank the water. Even and, in, in bottles. Uh, yeah, it was it, like for. Um, a li how much was it? A liter? Well, I was buying. Uh, it was like three gallons of water. Okay, um, uh, like um, a three-gallon uh, water jug, and it was literally about seven or eight dollars. Wow, it was expensive. It was really yeah. expensive, but that was purified, like extremely purified water. And it it turns out that the water from the tap or the water from the faucet here in Costa Rica, you can drink. And it's okay. And and my yeah. my thing is, in these other countries, they're paying money in their taxes and whatnot. Yet they don't have water they can actually drink. They have to buy water anyway. Um, so, Paolo, what to, what do you think about that? If they're paying paying money, even if it's a little bit, don't you think that they should get clean water? And maybe that's what Betchel was trying to do to clean the water, and and it, and it would cost more money. I don't know. What what do you think about that, Paolo? Um, I agree with that, that idea that it's maybe it's more important to have a, a clean, and wealthy water and pay a little more than than have a public uh, utility for the water that is not is not good, no, for for people. But I really think that for this kind of a utility, it should be always uh, public because. You know, uh, for example, in Spain now, it's changing, and the, in the towns, they are pri pri privatizing the the control of the water in the, in the towns for, in for uh, private companies. But it's a problem because uh, who control that these companies are checking the water and they are putting the chemical products for cleaning it? And you know, mm -hmm. uh, because I work it for this and. Uh, the government need to spend also money again for check. They have people that check these companies. That they are uh, doing the thing, uh, mm -hmm. they work in the right. Uh, and it's the same. I think you need to control these companies, and these companies they are spending uh, are most expensive for the uh, final con consumers. And, uh, it's very difficult. It's not the, like the uh, internet or electricity when you can choose another company. The yeah. water, you, you don't have an option. And 
it's, it's difficult. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's the problem that I see because uh, it, even in Honduras, we had to pay for water every month, and the water that we would get would come with like not even serious, like little chunks of wood. We would get like wood and dirt, and oh the water God. was filthy. Is filthy, but that's what we use to like wash the dishes uh, with soap, and uh, um, and it was worse when there was a rainstorm, which was like six months out of the out of the year. Every day it would rain, and uh, we pay money, and it was sometimes around you know ten or fifteen dollars a month. But but goodness, can't can't you unless people just aren't paying it? Can't you clean the water with that much money? I. Uh, if you have everybody paying into it, um, so in in my mind, I think they probably have dirty water there, and Betchel was trying to clean it up. Um, but in order to do that, they may have been charging the same rates that they charge in the United States. In the United States, which is anywhere from uh, fifty fifty to seventy five dollars a month, depending on okay. on uh, um, the the how much water you use. No. Yeah, Can you drink tap water in the US? Bolivia, oh yeah, they don't get the, the same salary. <laughs> yeah, they, and that's the other the other thing. They don't get the same yeah. they don't get the same uh, amount of money. And yeah, it, the water in uh, in the United States, even from the hose outside, I would drink from the hose all day long. Uh, so uh, uh, water uh, water in the U United States, uh, even from the rivers in most most cases, rivers. Uh, sometimes from the lakes and whatnot, it's okay to to uh, to, to swallow, uh, to drink. Uh, but yeah, water coming to the houses, uh, bathing water, all that, no issues, no issues within with any of the water. You're not going to get sick. Um, but but yeah, and that's uh, that's almost how it is here. Um, but yeah, the water that's going to your to your sink is uh, is just fine, which uh, was a total blessing because we were going through water like crazy. I drink a lot of water, <laughs> but uh, okay, you guys. Uh, great, thank you for coming to class. It was it was uh, great having you all here. Uh, I'm gonna take a break until Monday. Uh, have a uh, great weekend. Okay, you guys. Thank take care. You. All right. Bye bye. Thanks a lot. Thank you.